Today we are starting a new series, the Expansion Team Rebuild. Now, guys, I am the Alaska Blizzard. I don't think there'd ever be an NBA team in Alaska, but you know. And we have the first pick in the Expansion Draft. The other team I added was the Baltimore Blue Crabs. But with the first pick in the Expansion Draft, we could grab a DeAndre Ayton or a Jalen Duran. I think, you know, Duran is already, he's younger. He's an 80 overall. This is a great place to get a good building block to start the team. I don't know why the Pistons wouldn't protect protect this guy in an expansion draft, but we are going to snag him. Um, so the Blue Crabs are gonna pick Clay Thompson and they pick Ayton and Thompson. So I feel like it sucks to miss out on DeAndre Ayton. Um, of course the Lakers put Westbrook up. I don't really care to be that good this first year. So I'd rather go for players with potential than really good players. With my second pick in the expansion draft, I am going to take Santi Aldama. I don't know a lot about this guy. I don't know anything about this guy. He's a no bad Chavin, seven footer though. And he plays the power forward. Got a B plus three, so maybe he can be a part of the team long term. I'm not sure. With our next pick in the expansion draft, I mean, I guess we kind of have to pick some some guys. Najee Marshall. I feel like this is another guy who's got some potential. Wow, so they got DeAndre Ayton. I kind of wanted to get Ayton, so they got Westbrook. So I think, and they picked Kenyon Martin Jr. I didn't see KJ Martin Jr. We could get basketball. Paul. I feel like he's not going to develop too too much. Wow, I'm surprised the Clippers would not protect Zubac from us, but we're gonna go with, hmm, probably Derek White, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's nothing really crazy here for us to want. I mean, we could snag Zubac. I'm not, I just don't feel like we should grab even average players here. We don't really wanna be good early. We're not gonna have like the potential to get a star. We're probably not ever gonna be a free agent destination. So let's grab Isaiah Joe here from the Thunder. Damn, I'm mad that I missed Kenyon Martin Jr., bro. I would've drafted him. That was a big miss. I don't know how I didn't see that. I'm gonna take Trendon Watford here. He's 21, 76 overall. Ayo Dusunmu, we're gonna take him as well. You know what, let's just grab Kevin Love. He's gonna be able to take a lot of salary off the books here. And let's go with a, hmm. A lot of these guys are on expiring contracts. Let's take Yuta Watabatambi. I, I hope I'm saying his name right. There's a lot of picks left. So I guess this is our chance to really build up assets. So we may as well just try to get good players. Bogdan Bogdanovich right here. Cause we could trade some of these back to contending teams. All right, so the expansion draft is done. So our picks are clean. We have a clean slate of picks we can trade. We got no protections we got to worry about, nothing. So, I mean, our big thing is I feel like right now I'm totally fine gutting the roster and just trying to get whatever kind of draft picks we can get. Honestly, the only like three, four guys on the roster I don't want to trade are Duran, Aldama, Watford, and Nisumo. I think he's going to become an unrestricted free agent. I don't think we're going to have an easy time getting free agents to come to Alaska of all places. So right now, honestly, Honestly, I'm just gonna look to trade guys that I think maybe can help us get some draft picks, net some draft picks. I'm really just trying to get draft picks. You're gonna hear that word a lot today. The Knicks will give me a lottery protected Pistons pick. So that will surely convey into a normal unprotected pick the following year. So that's the Rockets will give me a 2023 first round pick. I mean, right there. I mean, if I give them these players, they might end up being decent, but I feel like the Rockets are still gonna be a pretty bad team. Yeah, I definitely like the idea of getting the Rockets pick. I don't know why the Rockets would give that up. Maybe the Rockets don't end up being that bad, but we snagged their first round pick. So Bogdanovich, he's a good player. He should probably be playing for a contender. So we don't need to get a great first round pick for Bogdanovich, but we need to get some value here. A 2027 New York Knicks pick. No one knows what that's going to look like, but that could be really valuable for us down the line. A 2027 Brooklyn Nets pick. Again, another pick. We don't know what that will look like, but it could be valuable. Let's bank on the Knicks not being very good in about five years. You know, it's probably good odds on that. So we can give the Knicks that. We're going to take on 48, but again, we're not going to be flares in free agency. We can take that off the books for them. Thaddeus Young, we don't really need him or Grayson Allen. Now Baltimore will give us Kenyon Martin Jr. for Grayson Allen and Thad Young. I don't know why our kind of quasi rivals, Baltimore Blue Crabs, are going to offer us Kenyon Martin Jr. But man, I like that for us. Yeah, let's grab him as well. Kevin Love, another guy. We, we just have so many dudes that we need to trade. Uh, Baltimore is willing to give us a 2027 pick, but we have to give up a 2024 first. I'm not giving up any picks, at least not yet. Man, that unprotected juicy pick though. Guess we're gonna keep Kevin Love. I don't wanna trade people unless I get good value. So it didn't even let me pick my coach. My coach is Jake Thomas, all right? I think we're just gonna have to keep Kevin Love on the team to be a mentor, because he has a lot of badges that he can hand down to Jalen Duran. So let's give him Dream State, Drop Stepper, and do we have Brick Wall? Brick Wall, yes, and Brick Wall. 
All right, so that way we got, we're gonna keep Kevin Love just to um, train the youngin. Gotta train the youngins, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so here, year one with our new team, we got Ayo DeSunmo, Evan Fournier, Kenyon Martin Jr., Kevin Love, Jalen Duran, the centerpiece of our expansion team. Hopefully not the centerpiece of everything we do going forward. I don't know if he projects to be that good of a player, but decent team. We'll bring our boy Santi off the bench. Damn, our Alaska jerseys are looking fire, bro. Yeah, Isaiah Joe, we got Morris. You know, this is an all right team. Uh, Trenton Watford, I feel like you gotta play more because you are young. So let's move him up the rotation a little bit. We have a lot of we have a lot of power forwards, but that's okay. Honestly, we're not really trying to be very good this first year. Hopefully, we can land like a generational player like a Scoot Henderson or a Victor Wembam Yama. First game, our boy Santi broke his finger. Oh man, you played through that, bro. Play through that. Oh my God, we're we're having guys getting hurt already. That's okay. No one on this team is. You know, Jalen Duran is important. Santi's a little important, but other than that, team is not a. We, we're okay if people get a little bit hurt. You know what I mean? You gotta toughen it up. It does suck that they gotta play in Alaska, though. I think Mario Chalmers is the only NBA player from Alaska. So we're actually decent to start the year. We're eight and eight. Not great, but okay, this Santi guy gets hurt quite a bit, and so does Kevin Love. I'm just gonna make that noted. Uh, wow, our team is really piling up injuries, but after one month of NBA basketball, we are 12 and 10. I don't understand how we have a winning record. Our team is not that good. Our team is actually pretty bad. We have a negative point differential so i'm wondering if over the course of the season things start to even out a little bit more the other expansion team baltimore they are 10 and 12 so they're kind of like very similar to us and they drafted win now players so maybe by maybe by the beginning of january another month of basketball in we're going to be a little bit worse i don't really understand how we were winning any games but you know we got that we got that dog in us apparently all right so after the month of december we are somehow 20 and 16 Dude, so our boy Jalen Duran, he's making a push for Rookie of the Year against Paulo Banchero here. He has not missed a game. He's played all 36. Kevin Love is hurt. But look at that, 17 points per game, nine rebounds, almost 70% shooting. Wow. So Jalen Duran is our carry. He's a 6'11 center. Uh, he's overjoyed. It's great. Everyone seems happy to be on this team. Um, Dude, yeah, we're just getting good production out of guys. I did not expect to get good production out of Fournier, but I kind of want to trade Fournier. And since, I mean, if we are getting a good season out of him, I'd rather just trade him. You know, I don't want to be good. Maybe we can snag a draft pick somehow. Oh man, a unprotected Lakers pick, but we have to give up a pick. I think we're going to be pretty good in the future, but I can't just, I don't want to assume. First round Bucks pick, swap best with Pelicans. That's a pick. It might not be a good pick, Pelicans and Bucks, but it's a pick. So we're going to do this trade. I think, you know, this helps make us worse. We're getting rid of one of our better scorers. So Isaiah Joe's going to start at the two now. And hopefully Jalen Duran doesn't carry us too much, bro. He's been doing too much. Let's Let's get to the trade deadline and see how our expansion we beat the pelicans off rip wow we are a competitive team Okay, so January and February were a bit rougher for us. We dropped to 25 and 32. So we are now the 12th seed. The Rockets, who we own the first round pick of, are the eighth seed. So the thing with us is we kind of have to hope they lose in the play-in game. Doesn't seem like a good thing to hope for. I mean, I don't really know what team is gonna jump up the standings. Maybe Phoenix, if they get healthy, they must be hurt. Yeah, I don't see Booker's out. So Booker's out. So maybe Booker, and they lost eight into the expansion draft. I forgot about that. So Houston, I mean, they're, they're pretty good we did give them some players Derek White's coming off the bench for them so is Najee Marshall who we gave them so I mean we, we kind of need some picks the Warriors are really struggling Steph's healthy San Antonio is really struggling uh, this team is better than our team I don't get why they're doing better than or I don't get why they're doing worse than us in our last 10 we are three and seven so we are looking like one of the worst teams so are the Rockets so maybe the Rockets drop as well I just think it would be a really bad thing if we miss out on good draft picks here so we got us we got the Rockets so we're gonna be able to draft some guys but it's almost like we kind of need to really figure out is there a way we can get some other good draft picks from some of these teams if you know without having to give up Jalen Duran the other expansion team is just willing to part with their first round pick if I give them Isaiah Joe and the, the pick swap I feel like that I don't think they must have a good pick if they're willing to swap with me like that but let's take a look at the standings real quick let's see what they're looking like yeah Baltimore is ninth in their conference so they have a chance to make the play and they have 
have a winning record, so I don't really want their pick, but let's maybe try to get like a Pistons pick maybe somehow. I don't know. Yeah, people are not willing to part with their draft picks. So we're gonna have to sim to the end of the season. This is a disappointing regular season for us. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna say it. This is a disappointing first year. We won a little too many games. I don't really get quite how our team was so good. Um, we actually have been dealing with quite a lot of injuries. Kevin Love got hurt over and over again this season. I guess Jalen Duran, he's just been healthy, which is a great sign going forward that he's probably not an injury prone player. And he's a player that can help us win a lot of games. So I like that he's our centerpiece here. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I, it's disappointing how many games we won. I don't really get how with our roster being so depleted ratings wise compared to some of our contemporaries, but okay, we'll figure some things out in the off season. It looks like we're going to be like an 11 seed. Luka Doncic, the MVP, he's the 38, 12 and 11. What a season, bro. Paulo ends up winning rookie of the year over our boy, Jalen Duran, who had, looks like the second most points, didn't miss a game. Yeah, great season for Jalen, 66% from two does not shoot any threes dominant paid player and we were outscoring teams with him on the court which is impressive for how bad this roster is Westbrook wins the six man for Baltimore so of course all rookie first team our boy Jalen Duran he averaged 18 9 and not even an assist so he needs to learn how to pass for sure Paulo with the 20 and 8 okay Paulo I don't know man Jalen I feel like Jalen has a really good case for rookie of the year honestly it seems like but I guess not Jaden Ivey would have been a nice player to have as well so we do miss the playoffs, the yoffs, if you will. Baltimore, who we had a chance to trade for their pick, but we didn't do it. They actually missed the playoffs as well at the trade deadline. They looked like they were going to make the playoffs. So with the first season in the books, the NBA champion is going to be either the Lakers. Wow, what a turnaround for them. No Westbrook, straight to the finals. Or the Sixers. I'm guessing the Sixers win this. The Lakers win this. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, our first offseason, it's finally time for us to make some moves. LeBron James wins the championship and he retires. Wow. So saying goodbye to LeBron James, Udonis Haslam. Some good players are retiring. Very good players are retiring. So LeBron James gets his re jersey retired by three different franchises. Incredible. So the draft lottery is upon us. This is a big draft lottery because we got two picks. Neither of them are that great. We have the best odds at the 14th pick and the 10th pick. Uh, so we have a combined about 3% chance to get the number one pick in the draft. The Rockets, we almost traded for their pick. Oh no, the Rockets got the 16th pick via the Bucks. So the Bucks missed the playoffs? Did I miss that? The Suns are 15. Most likely we end up with this 14th pick and we do. We have the 14th pick in the draft. That is via the Rockets. So hopefully our other pick conveys and gets a little bit better. So this is our pick and it ends up being the 10th pick in the draft. So we do not luck out. We end up with the 10th pick in the draft and the 14th pick in the draft. So we're going to be able to get some young players, but nothing crazy. We're probably going to need a new coach. Jake Thomas here. He's got one star charisma bro this dude is uh i think we're gonna we're gonna have to let him go mike stauffer he is the goat coach not as many badges as pop but we will throw him an offer so let's fire our coach we don't even know who he is jake thomas hire mike stauffer the stop the stop stuffer all right so we signed stauffer we don't have a cfo we don't have a shot doctor so i'm gonna sign this dude uh jones matthew jones as a uh, as a shot doctor he's got two star offensive coaching but he has five star potential so so hopefully he develops to do a good shot doctor for us. All right, we are here at the NBA draft. I'd love to start this rebuild with the number one pick, but the Wizards cannot trade it because it's involved in a previous trade. I think 2K needs to fix whatever causes the... I feel like in real life, every NBA team has all these crazy protections and all these picks. So like no picks are really tradable, but I don't know, 2K is a little too rigid. So, so far, Victor has been drafted. Ozer Thompson, Brandon Miller, Scoot Henderson, Wallace, Whitemore. So a lot of great players have been drafted. My hope is somehow we can maybe trade for one of those young guys who's already been picked. Let's see if anyone who's picked already might be willing to trade back with us and give us one of the players they selected. That is not the case. All right, Jet Howard, 19 years old, 78 overall, 100% scouted. Derek Whitehead and Anthony Black. Ceiling is Mitch Richmond, an all-NBA player. Floor, Larry Hughes, the starter. Knack for steals. Guaranteed upper echelon shot creator. Solid finisher. No significant weaknesses and he passed a physical. Got A plus three point, A mid-range. So this guy can shoot. He can score inside. He's got A perimeter defense. So this guy looks like a generational type of 
prospect. Hopefully he develops into something good for us. Now we just drafted a shooting guard. So, and we have our center figured out, right? We have the center figured out. We got shooting guard figured out. Obviously you need backups. It's basketball guys are gonna get hurt. I'd love to get a point guard, but there's not really a lot of point guards in this range. It's a lot of shooting guards. It's a very shooting guard heavy draft. I think and we may as well take Anthony Black here. Two shooting guards. Maybe one of them can develop into a point or something like that. So we end up drafting what looks like the best player remaining at that pick and the best player remaining at our other pick. So good pick by us. Two shooting guards though. We're bringing back Santi Aldama. He hasn't really developed. Isaiah Joe's developed a little bit. Watford, not so much. KJ we're bringing back. Uh, Garrison Matthews, we will decline. James Harden declined his player option, as did Porzingis. Qualifying offers to Ayo and Yuta. So that means we are headed into free agency with a lot of money coming off the books because of Kevin Love. Um, a lot of money coming off the books because of Kevin Love. So we can afford to bring somebody in. A lot of these guys are older and I'm not like dying to sign them and tie up my books. And Chris Middleton might be nice to have as a mentor for the team. Obviously, you know, I think the team's shown that we're probably not getting a top five pick anytime soon. So, I mean, we may as well be as competitive as we can be. Chris Middleton, offer him a um, four year deal. We'll give him a four year, $32 million contract. Let's see if he accepts that from us. I feel like we do need a point guard on the team. Mike Conley is another guy. He's got 13 badges. So, I mean, he could be another guy who helps develop our guards with a mentorship program. So let's hopefully we can get Mike Conley, have him develop some of our guards, bring him in. So Conley agrees to come. Middleton has not made a decision. He has 15 offers though. I'm gonna try to sign AO to a four year deal. I don't wanna overpay him. I think I can try to get him on a steal with a $10 million contract. So he signs four years, 40 million. AO, if he develops, that could be a great contract for us. Still have not heard from Middleton. We're almost at the end of free agency. He has 17 offers. So I don't think he's gonna sign with us, but there's a chance. Darius Baisley is 23, 77 overall. I mean, he's got potential to develop. I don't want to give him too much money. So I'm going to throw him a three-year deal, but we're going to lower the salary. I don't know how interested he is in this. And I'm going to throw on a team option. I don't know how interested in this he's going to be, but let's see. He's already declined. Okay. Um, maybe we do a four-year deal, throw on the team option and drag it down to like 9.5. Thought about it. So Baisley signs on my little team option. You're at the end of free Chris Middleton signed with the Thunder. Okay, so him and Shea are teammates. That's interesting. So we're really below the salary floor. I mean, Draymond Green has 21 badges as a guy who can develop our young players. I may as well just throw Draymond a contract. It doesn't hurt to bring Draymond in, really. So we brought on Draymond Green. So we have a weird team. We got Jalen Duran, Draymond, our boy Santi, Isaiah Joe. Jet Howard is our rookie. I kind of think we're going to need to play through this guy. It looks like this guy, he's a 6'8", two guard. So honestly, if he's 215 pounds. Honestly, we might be able to move him to the three. Anthony Anthony Black is 6'7", so he's also pretty tall. He's got a B plus three. All right, so we are going to keep training Jalen. He's developed quite a bit of badges now. Draymond, Draymond has a lot of decent badges. Um, dude, Jalen Duran, he just doesn't post a lot. He barely, I don't know if it's gonna be good to even give him those types of badges. So let's give him Workhorse, post lockdown for sure. Ooh, Challenger. All right, we'll give him Challenger. So we're gonna give, Draymond's gonna be mentoring him. We got our boy Jet Howard, our 20 year old first round pick. We signed Mike Conley to help him out as well. So my, Jet already has five badges, but let's get him Dimer, Floor General. Ooh, there are some good ones here. Conley's got some more playmaking hyperdrive. I think these will all be good badges for Jet. Anthony Black, another young guy we need to train. Conley can mentor two people at once. I didn't know that. Okay, so Conley's gonna have to mentor both of these dudes. All right, so we have a ton of young guys and we have Conley and Draymond Green basically here to be the babysitters. So the goal this year is obviously to develop Jet, develop Jalen Duran, and develop Anthony Black and hopefully also get something out of Ayo, get something out of Baisley. We might have too many young guys, to be honest. I mean, KJ Martin here, he's a 76 overall. I don't know. Maybe he's not the guy. So maybe let's, let's start both of our two guards that we drafted and bring KJ off the bench. I think that might be a better use of our resources. Yeah, I think we should be not a good team again. Obviously, we're not really trying to be a great team here in this second season, but if we can get really good development out of the young guys, I'm going to be really happy. And look, losing games is not bad here because we have our pick. We have enough young guys that I honestly think we could move them four picks. Um, wow, we are really bad this year. We are really bad this year. Whoa. We had some bets last year and some and not a lot of... I mean, I, I really did drain this roster of a lot of talent, bro. We are getting the number one pick. We need that generational prospect on this team. 
All right, so after the month of January, we are at 18 and 31. We're a pretty bad team. That puts us, um, we're the fourth worst team in the conference while the Phoenix Suns are bad. They have Devin Booker, but they have no interior presence like at all. This team has no interior presence. They are bad. The Clippers are bad. I don't know how they're so bad. They must have had a lot of injuries as well. Look at our team. Jalen Duran at almost 21 a game with 11 rebounds, 70% shooting. This guy is doing great. He's still averaging under an assist per game, so that's disappointing. Jet Howard, our rookie. 18 a game, 3.4 assists. Again, I'd love to see him play make a little bit better, but I mean, the shooting is great. I like what I'm seeing. I think we have a good foundation here if he can keep developing. Anthony, our other rookie, 11 points per game. You know, he wasn't expected to be as good, but I like what I'm seeing. Baisley, who we got on that great contract, performing well for us. We are really bad when Mike Conley plays. <laughs> we are a really bad team when Conley plays and when Santi plays. Now, Santi is this dude we got in the, the draft. He actually isn't really developing. He's been getting hurt quite a bit. Bit. Right now he's healthy, but he has an increased chance of injury all over his body. I don't. I've noticed he gets hurt quite a bit, so I kind of want to move on from him. I don't really want to deal with players who are. He, he's just got. He's a huge injury injury risk. So we're gonna move on from Santi Aldama. I don't know. He sounds like he's a famous painter or something. The Grizzlies are willing to give us a top three protected pick, which honestly, if I can't find anything better, I'm gonna take it. Lottery protected Lakers pick. I actually like that even better because if that conveys and it hits the lottery, we get an unprotected Lakers pick into. 2027 so we're gonna take that pick we're just gonna stash that little pick away there's no reason not to hopefully the lakers hit the lottery so we get the unprotected pick the following year yeah we've got a good thing going here we're playing an 11 brand rotation i'm gonna just dink the rotation down to get way more minutes for the young guys and our young shooting guards are on fire so I like that. I like the way we're developing. Wow. As a rookie, Victor Wembanyama is averaging 30 points a game. Scoot is averaging 18. Our boy Jet, he's not going to finish with a rookie of the year vote. He's not as good as Scoot and he's not as good as Victor. But hey, man, I mean, it's good to see that we do have one of the best three scoring rookies. Um, he's there with Scoot scoring wise. And then we got our other rookie here, you know, 11 per game. If he wasn't playing with Jet, he might be even better. So, you know, relative to the other rookies, this is a stacked rookie class, apparently but we are getting some building pieces. But what this is showing me is they're not going to be the type of foundational pieces we can totally build around because the NBA just has a lot of good players. So it's kind of crucial here that we do get like a top four type player, type four type pick. Hopefully we can snag some sort of generational prospect, maybe a Luka Doncic of our own up here in Alaska. That would be nice. I'm going to let the trade deadline come and go. We're going to build this team right, bro. We're going to build from the ground up. The question is how many guys are going to want to re-sign with us, especially if I do keep going with the tank wave. So I think I think next year we're not going to go team tank we're going to be a little bit more aggressive in free agency maybe even move on from draymond probably move on from conley because it seems like we're pretty bad when conley's out there yeah, we finished the year 29 to 53. Luka Doncic averaged 40 points, 11 rebounds, 9 assists. Oh my god, Victor Wembanyama. He ended up averaging 31 points per game as a rookie. Scoot won six man. Anthony Davis, Defensive Player of the Year. Kate Cunningham, Most Improved. Wow, and the Cavaliers had 62 wins. So our boy Jet made the all rookie first team, and our boy Anthony made the all rookie second team. So that's pretty awesome. So the finals is Knicks versus Pelicans. Wow. The Knicks, it's actually the Knicks normal team with Derek White in the Pelicans. They got Zion. So I'm guessing the Pelicans win this. They got Zion Williamson, but I was so wrong last year. And the Knicks, I was wrong this year. The Knicks win. RJ Barrett, he wins finals MVP. All right. So this is the more interesting offseason because I think now we, we're like, we, 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 we've done our things, bro. We're ready to, we're ready to do our thing. Iguodala. Conley actually retired. Okay. Conley retired. So we don't have to worry about his contract anymore. Draymond Green also retired. So we now have a lot of cap space. So that actually ended up working out really well for us. All right. Again, we have a chance at a pick. We have a chance. We have the fifth best odds to get the number one pick in the draft. Here we go. The Spurs have a chance to get two top three picks. So we got to watch out for the Spurs. They could be a dynasty in waiting, bro. I, I hope that's not the case. Oh, eighth. What the heck? Oh my God. We have the eighth pick. Wow. Very disappointing. The Spurs end up with the sixth pick. The Suns end up with the fifth pick. Dang, so we fall to eight. That really sucks. The Spurs have the number one pick. The Pelicans have the number two pick via Milwaukee, bro. How is that possible? Wow, and we are in the Pelicans conference. So that that is, uh, that is really scary. Bro, that is so scary. All right, we have 25 trade offers for this eighth pick. If I'm not blown away, I'm not taking it. And nothing's blowing me away with these offers. I'm not gonna lie. They want to pick somebody. We really need a point guard. Wade Holland, 20 years old. He's a six-footer. 
footer, so he's pretty short. Ceiling, world be free. Lou Will is the floor. Good mid-range score. Comfortable shooting the three. Isn't hurts him on offense. So he's not very athletic and he's not good at defense. Uh, this guy's ceiling is Pau Gasol and this guy's floor is Pau Gasol. He looks slow and clunky. Poor offensive anticipation. That doesn't sound like Pau Gasol to me. This guy's 7-3. Ceiling, Dikembe Mutombo. Guy looks like Superman. No questions about strength. Below average court vision hurts him. I mean, Jalen is our, our starting center. Jalen is already not a very good passer. Yeah, I don't really like a lot of our options here. I guess we're going to go with this Cody Wood guy. He's a center from Fordham. So the number one pick was an 82 overall center. There was also an 82 overall two guard. Wow, a 79 overall center. So this was a center's draft for sure. Our guy was a 77 overall 20 year old center. So we missed out not picking Archie. I think this is the Pau Gasol guy, but I, I don't know. He doesn't seem very good to me. Maybe our guy will develop better. I mean, 7-3 is tough with a lot of strength. So that's pretty good. The problem is I don't think I can play him and Jalen Duran together. So he's going to be relegated to like a six man role. We're going to bring Jalen back. We're going to bring Isaiah Joe back and Trenton Wofford back. But I mean, they're not developing. We don't really, we're not really creating the best development cycle. I won't lie. Um, but we have cap space. So I think it's time. Anthony Davis can play the four next to Jalen Duran. So I think it's time we do some moves here. Anthony Davis would be a huge pickup for us. He's very injury prone, but here we go. We're going to offer him the max. I think we're going to have to, to get players to come to Alaska. We need a point guard. Lonzo Ball is an unrestricted free agent and Chris Paul. I, I mean, Lonzo at least can develop with us. Fultz? It's kind of interesting. I, we're going to go with Lonzo Ball. Try to get Lonzo on the team. I don't want to offer Lonzo a $37 million contract. That doesn't seem smart. I'm going to offer Lonzo a two-year $35 million contract. He agrees on that. Anthony Davis signs with the Lakers. So we get Lonzo. We can also go for Jalen Brown. I mean, Jalen Brown would be a huge pickup for us, just like Anthony Davis was. So let's, let's, we're going to have to offer him the max. I feel like if we want anyone to come to Alaska, we have to offer them the max. Ooh, DeMar DeRozan is another guy we could try to grab. Again, I don't know. I don't want to offer DeMar. I'm going to offer DeMar a two-year contract because I could see him really falling off. But two years, 29.25 million? Jalen Brown agrees. Yes. So we get Lonzo Ball and Jalen Brown. Okay. Hey, we are in business now. We are making money moves now, baby. We are making money moves now. We're also going to try to bring on Larry Nance Jr. Just for some depth, man. Just for some depth. Little two-year, three mil like that. I like that. Okay, so now we have a real team. Now we have a real team. We have a team that can kind of fight for a playoff spot, be a little bit more interesting. Uh, Jalen Brown has a stomach virus for the season. Okay, look at all these green arrows, bro. We got one of the best two guards in the world. No, I'm just kidding. But we got Jalen Brown, Lonzo Ball. We have a good lineup now. So to start out this year, we got Lonzo Ball, Jet Howard. Jet has a 95 three-point shot, bro. So he's kind of tailor-made to play off the ball. And I think Jalen Brown, obviously Jalen's not the greatest playmaker passer in the world. So it is a little scary to have him be in a ball handler, but a little scary to have him be the primary fulcrum of the offense. But I do like how aggressive he is driving into the paint. It'll just suck in defenders to help open up Lonzo and Jet. Baisley at the four, I'm not, I'm not in love with. But again, the guy we drafted, um, Cody Wood, who will get playing time. Yeah, he's got a 77. I, this guy just can't really play next to uh, Duran. Duran's just not, he's just not there as a passer. So. So it's just not going to work. Isaiah Joe is a two guard. I don't really think we have minutes for Isaiah Joe at this point. And honestly, I mean, with Cody, Isaiah Joe, I, I think like we got to trade Isaiah Joe. And honestly, Watford has kind of become the uh, like kind of forgotten player. That's part of my young core. So I think it might make sense to move on from Isaiah Joe, who's not bad. And Watford, maybe try to get a veteran in here again, who can kind of help out the young guys once again. Or picks, Boston Celtics first round pick. You never no, bro. Atlanta Hawks first round pick. The Miami Heat will give me Nikola Jovic. I mean, Jovic is younger than Watford, but Yo, Watford didn't really develop here either. Walker Kessler, wow! But the thing is, I don't really need Walker Kessler. I don't really need him. There's a team option though, so I could keep him around. It's just that I'd have two centers coming off the bench. I'm not dying to have that situation. Bones Highland kind of hurts AO in our lineup though, because AO is our backup. But are we attached to AO like that? I don't know. Spurs draft pick. I mean, there's a chance the Spurs suck again. There's a chance the Spurs suck again. So I don't see the downside to this. Thunder are not gonna suck. 
luck. All right, this is a tough decision. I'm gonna take the Spurs draft pick. I'm still loading up on draft picks. The Spurs had the number one pick in this last year's draft. There's a chance the Spurs are bad again. Probably not, but there's a chance. So we have a Hawks pick this year and our pick. Next year, we have potentially three first round picks. The year after that, we've got the Knicks pick unprotected, our own pick, but either of these picks could convey into unprotected picks if these teams are bad. So there's a chance we're, we're really good on first round picks right now. We probably don't need to trade for first round picks for a while. We've done a good job loading up on draft picks while keeping a competitive roster intact. So I'm thinking we only go eight man rotation here because I'm getting minutes for Wood, the rookie, DeSumo, who's going to develop, Black, our rookie from last year. And then our starting lineup is pretty solid. I just don't love Baisley at the four. I would love to figure out if there's a way we could maybe upgrade that. I, maybe we could have kept Watford, honestly. Maybe I jumped the gun a little bit there. All right, Jalen Duran. I don't have any elderly big men to train him. I guess I have Larry Nance. Maybe Larry Nance can give him some badges too. Rise Up would be good to have. Limitless Takeoff would be good. Er, fast Twitch would be good. Giant Slayer is good. All right. It's nice now because I have Jalen Brown who can guide Jet. Jalen is volume shooter. He is slippery off ball. I like those for him. He's catch and shoot. Love that for Jet. Okay. So to start year number three, we've got Lonzo Ball, Jet Howard, Jalen Brown, Baisley, and Duran. Then we're looking at Anthony, DeSumo, and Wood off the bench. Okay, let's go to the end of November. Let's go to January. Let's, or yeah, let's go to let's go to the end of December and see how the team does through the early part of the season. Hopefully we can stay healthy. Because it looks like early on here that we're a pretty good team. Looks like we're a pretty good team early on here. All right, so through January 1st, we are 24 and 10. Looking good, feeling good. The roster is pretty healthy. I mean, Jalen's got a bruised right hip. That's it for him. Lonzo, wow, he's developing really nicely for us. We're actually the number one seed in the conference and we have an amazing point differential. So for me, I kind of feel like if we look this way by the trade deadline, I might make some win now moves and really try to make a push for the finals. Cause you never know when you're gonna have a great team. And right now we have a great team. Yeah, I guess the computer thought it was done time for Baisley too they move Sarge into the starting lineup yeah I mean I mean I like our team it makes a lot of sense yeah so let's go to the trade deadline see where we're at maybe look to upgrade that power forward spot because I feel like that's really the only hole in our entire roster to be honest Okay, at the trade deadline, we are 39 and 16. We've had a, quite a bit of injuries since then. Still the number one team in the conference. Still the best point differential. So we're looking good there. So I guess that's the thing. Do we make the trade right now? I feel like we, we've got the assets to do it. I mean, Baisley's tradable. And then draft pick wise, Miss Hawks pick, I don't know. Tobias Harris, is that really an upgrade for us? Because Baisley's gonna develop. That's the thing. That's why we got him. And we have him on that crazy good contract. Like this contract we have him on is a steal for three years. Like we're the number one team without making a trade. The Bucks currently have no players that they consider untouchable. They're 20 and 35. Giannis is an expiring contract. What does a Giannis trade look like? So Jimmy Butler's on the trading block, but I don't think contract wise, we have the contracts to make that work. And I also don't know if Jimmy Butler is necessarily the guy I wanna bring in right now. Harden is on the trading block, but I don't really know what Harden does for us because we really need that small forward spot filled more than anything. I think I'm just gonna stick with the team. Honestly, I don't really wanna make a bad trade. I have a feeling we'll take a step back last season because it seems like we are overperforming this season, but I don't know. We have a good team. I think we'll be able to get to at least the second round of the playoffs given how good we've been this season so I don't I don't really want to rush it because I couldn't make a trade work for Giannis even though it said he wasn't like I don't know the Bucks seem like they're just gonna let him go I don't know question mark but yeah I don't know I have the assets but I don't have the cap space situation to make it work without giving up on either Lonzo or Jalen Brown and I don't know if it's smart of me to tie up my cap space and Lonzo and Jalen Brown but I mean this first season with the two of them leading the way for me has been amazing so I can't say I made a bad choice and I think it is always gonna have to be an overpay situation for us in Alaska. So John Morant wins MVP with a 35, six and 12, really good season. The rookie of the year is the guy the Spurs picked. Our boy Cody Wood was up there. looks like he's gonna be on the second team for rookies, but all right, our boy Cody, not bad. Scoot Henderson, six man again. Wow, so Jalen Brown makes the all NBA second team for us and that's it. Pretty good year for our boys. Jalen, 25 points per game. The two Jalens, this Jalen had 21 a game. Jet Howard. Howard, almost called him Jalen Howard. Jet Howard with 19 a game. Lonzo, okay. So we got our big three scorers. Lonzo setting dudes up over 10 assists a game. I like seeing that Jalen's over our sister game. The 
Chetton Jalen with over five. I mean, this is a really good looking, really solid looking unit. Great field goal shooting for, for Duran still. A little disappointed in Lonzo's field goal percentage, but it looks like, yeah, I mean, it's a little misleading though, because I mean, he took a lot of threes. All right, so we're going against the Spurs here in round one. The Spurs got that rookie, Jeremy Sokon, Keldon Johnson, Jalen Brunson. Wow. Okay. I mean, I feel like this is a pretty well-rounded team. Um, let's simulate game one. We take game one. They take game two. We take game three. Uh-oh. Jet Howard has a sprained right toe. What does that mean, though? Is he not playable? He's not playable. Wow. That sucks for us. Oh, wow. So we can't play Jet. Dang. So we just lost Jet for this playoff series. That hurts. So we lose Jet Howard for the playoff series, our boy. So we're gonna start Anthony there. Okay, all right, I mean, we're up 2-1. We're up 3-1, 4-1. So we go to the second round of the playoffs. We got the Denver Nuggets. Denver has Jokic, Murray, Alec Burks, Porter, Aaron Gordon. I mean, this is a tough matchup for us, especially not being fully healthy. This really sucks. Um, I don't really, I honestly don't know how to make a coach game plan for Denver with Jokic. Cause like, what do you do with Jokic, bro? You, you single cover him, he destroys you. You double cover him, he picks you up. Part. So Denver is kind of whooping us here early. Okay, Jets back. They're up 3-1 though. So this is kind of what I thought. Second round of the playoffs. Yeah, I don't know if we really have an answer for Jokic. Honestly, Bones Highland has been kind of killing us in these games. Maybe let's figure out if we, we can shut down. We almost, we could have traded for Bones. Bones Highland is the one who's absolutely killing us in this series more than anybody. So I'm going to put Lonzo on him. Lonzo's got that 94 defense. Hopefully Lonzo can make things a little bit tougher on him. And Jalen Duran has a sore foot. Oh, you're going to have to play through it, dude. You're going to have to play through it. I'm sorry. We need you versus Jokic out there, brother. We need you versus Jokic. Wow, back and forth game. Oh my. Oh my God, we're gonna hop in, bro. We're gonna hop in. The final stand of the Alaska Blizzard versus the Denver Nuggets. Look at this home court. It is, this is a sexy home court. And we got Jalen Brown. Oh, Jalen Brown is playing center for some reason. I don't know what's going on there. Every time I sub into one of these games, the players are way out of position. Back out to Lons. Oh, that's black for three. Yes, that's a green. Come on, man. We can win this series. I know we can win this series. This court is a uh, trippy, bro. It's a little too bright. <laughs> oh no, yo. Ah, oh. hey, we'll get threes. This team can generate some open threes. I know that. Wait, and Howard is at the four. What? It's a weird lineup we're running. We run these pick and fades with Jalen in the corner. Oh, and he got a nice release. No, Jokic again. He just slips right off me. I, I gotta get Jalen Brown off the court, bro. Or I gotta get Jalen Brown off center. Come on, pop the three. Yes, Howard. No! Damn, Jokic is murdering us here, bro. I don't know what to do about Jokic. He is a killer. Damn, so we are going to lose this series against the Denver Nuggets. But hey, bro, really great series from us, season from us. We made the number one seed. We signed Lonzo and Jalen Brown. We drafted two players who are going to be a part of the long-term future. I think we need to hire... Some, I think we need to sign some more vets to try to develop young guys, get some badges up. I think that's definitely going to be the move this offseason. Yeah, we have a great three-point shooting team, but it might just, it just might not be enough. Oh, I can't sim to the end? The hell? Wow, yeah, Jokic dropped in 45, 10, and 11 on us in this closeout game, bro. So, yeah, that's the thing. I mean, it's kind of tough because Jalen Jalen Duran is one of our centerpieces, but if Jokic is going to just torch us like that in a series, then that's that we might have to figure out what we want to do at center because I don't know if this is what we want to do. All right, Evan Mobley ends up in the finals, though, versus... Versus the Thunder. All right, let's see who wins the finals. I'm over two of my finals predictions. I'm predicting the Cavaliers. The th <laughs> Thunder win. I cannot predict anything in this series. Okay. Carmelo retires. Westbrook retires. DeMar DeRozan retires unexpectedly. Brooke Lopez retired. Okay. Some interesting retirements here. So we end up with the 10th pick in this draft via the Atlanta Hawks. And we have the 30th pick, which is our own pick. So I, I want to trade those picks. I'm not really looking to add any more. I kind of want to have the team start to trend a little bit older, not younger. So let's see if we can move it. Maybe, maybe even move up in the draft. I don't know. I can get two Clippers picks, two back-to-back -back years Clipper, Clipper picks. I don't know. The thing is, are, what are the odds that one of them, even one of them is better than top 10? The Hawks will give me the ninth pick. I don't want to move up by one pick. That doesn't seem like it's worth it. Two Rockets picks. I mean, they haven't been that. Two Suns picks. The Suns have been pretty bad in this sim. I feel like two Suns picks isn't a bad offer here. I, it sucks giving up that 10th pick though. Oh, I'm tempted. Do two unprotected picks from the Phoenix Suns. They've been pretty bad and there's a chance they only get worse. I'm gonna do this trade. That 
like we get a pick next year and the following year there's a chance the suns are not good now there's a chance i made a colossal mistake here but i think that's going to work out for us the suns took a 75 overall point guard who's 20 years old with that pick and with the other pick they chose a 73 overall 20 year old i i don't know i don't think those are going to be game changing players for the suns i think that that should work out for us the lakers ended up with the number one pick and if i'm not mistaken we have a lottery protected lakers pick next year so that means in 2027 we'll have an unprotected lakers pick 2026 like we have four picks in the first round potentially next year if the lakers make the playoffs we have their pick if we have this swap best with pelicans pick i don't that's probably not going to be much so i might look to trade that but yeah i mean we have a lot of draft capital we have three picks in the 2027 draft between the Knicks, suns and us wait a second so i auto drafted a second rounder whose name is dick Payne. this dude's name is dick Payne. <laughs> what? what? All right, so obviously we're gonna bring back Jalen Duran on a team option, Jet Howard and Black Anthony and Anthony Black. Dude, everyone's looking good. Giannis declined his player option, so he's a free agent. But I'm not really sure if my cap space situation is anything to brag about. Yeah, I don't have any cap space. I don't have a lot of wiggle room. Um, the good news is I can renounce the rights of everybody on my books. I don't really need them. I think our cap is managed pretty good. Jalen Brown, Lonzo Ball, Ao. No one's really expensive, honestly. Lonzo only has one year left because I was a little doubtful on Lonzo. I thought he was kind of injury prone. So hopefully we don't lose Lonzo next off season. So with our mid-level exception, who do we want to go for? All right, I'm going to give Shake Milton a one-year deal and he's going to come here for one million. So looking at the team, bro, Jet is developing into a super, super star, bro. He's an 87 overall. He took a huge leap in the off season. Wow, Duran, who I thought was going to be our building block. He's only 21 though, bro. He's only 21. He's an 84 overall. Wood, the other center, he's an 80, bro. And I think like Wood has A plus inside defense. So I think if we do end up in a series versus Denver, we might switch Wood into the starting lineup to deal with Jokic or a Zion if we face them. Problem with this team, it's going to be hard to keep this team together for a long time. And we still quite haven't figured out that power forward spot. I, I think that's going to be the big step if, for us to win the championship is to figure out how do we get that power forward spot looking. So the Phoenix Suns, they have Devin Booker, Mikel Bridges, Sadiq Bey, Turquavion Smith. This team doesn't have any real bigs, so I think this team is really going to struggle to win again. I think this Suns pick, I know they have Devin Booker and Mikkel. I think this Suns pick might end up conveying into a pretty good pick. I actually don't know if this team is going to make the playoffs, so I'm pretty excited about that. The Lakers with Kyrie Irving and Anthony Davis, I think this is probably a playoff team if they stay healthy, but they do have two very injury prone players at the top. Man, there's a chance this Lakers team is bad, but, and Kyrie is on an expiring, so they might lose him in the offseason too and he's old so he's just gonna get worse so and davis is probably gonna start declining too so honestly i think the lakers pick has a chance to be a lottery pick which is what i'd want because i think they could be pretty bad the following season pelicans i mean this team is they got zion and they've got some good talent around zion i think you know as long as they have zion they're not going anywhere milwaukee is brandon ingram an old paul george emmanuel this team could be pretty bad this team actually could be pretty bad uh this milwaukee team has a chance to be bad and we have the swap best with pelicans so I don't know if the if it ends up being the Bucks pick, we might have some lottery. We might between the Suns and the Bucks, I really think we might end up with some top five picks. So I'm gonna feel pretty safe trading my own pick this season to try to get a power forward. But that'll do it for episode one of our expansion team rebuild. This is gonna be a multi-episode series. We're gonna try to do around three seasons per episode. I really like the way the roster is looking. I think right now we are NBA Finals contenders. We especially since Jet took his massive leap forward, he might be the best player on the team soon better than Jalen Brown by the end of the season maybe I don't know but we'll see before I go guys if you guys want to submit things to the Jidel submission subreddit please do so I'm just waiting for y'all to submit some stuff I'm gonna try to get back to it I really want to do some more community engagement stuff connect with you guys a bit better it's a little hard to connect on the rebuild video so I want to do more community stuff be on the lookout for that y'all I love you guys I'll see you in the next one peace